Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Monday edition. It is May the 8th, the Monday edition of Life Applicating Word Daily Devotionals. I'm excited to be back with you. I pray that you all had a fabulous weekend, and I'm so happy to be able to, to worship with the Saints at Assembly Chapel on Sunday. Those who have made it out, we had a, another remarkable service. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord was with us, and uh, it was just a great day. Today, I want to go to the book of Romans, chapter number four, and I want to read verse number 17. I mentioned it in the sermon uh, yesterday, and I just want to elaborate a little bit more on it uh, for some clarity and a little understanding. So Romans chapter number four, verse 17, the Bible reads, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God, who quickened, quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. I'm not here to disclaim people's belief and interpretations of the scripture. But I do want to speak, like I said, a little little clarity into the scripture uh, for Assembly Chapel, the ones that I am uh, held accountable uh, for teaching. And if anyone else, you know, you may agree, you may not agree. The scripture has been used, and I'm not saying not to use it, but this scripture has been used uh, to encourage and to strengthen. Uh, the scripture has been used to, to in a way, in my understanding, to encourage people to call things that be not as though they were. Now, that is a faith-based scripture. I'm not denying that, but I want to make sure that we have our, our faith, uh, we have the right perspective on where our faith is. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1, it gives us the best definition that I've seen of faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. Here in this uh, scripture, Paul is writing about Abraham, the father of faith. And you can go and read Genesis chapter number 17. Um, I forget what verse is this around, but Genesis chapter number 17, uh, in the beginning of the scripture, a uh, verse, chapter rather, as a matter of fact, uh, Jesus, God rather, is, is, is telling Abraham that he's going to make him uh, the father of many. He's telling him that his seed is going to be blessed and things of that nature. And that's what makes uh, this impactful because Abraham is the father of faith. Abraham is, is declared the one who, who, who is the father of believing in things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. And, and, and that is a, a good place to be in, in your life, a place to where you believe God for everything. I'm not here to to um, criticize the name it and claim it people, but I do want to say that when you name it and claim it, that is the beginning of the process. There's nothing wrong with seeing. Uh, we, we, we always like to relate this to material items, so I'll, I'll do that as well. But there's nothing wrong with seeing uh, something that, that, that you want, whether it looks to be attainable right now or not. That's the stretch of faith. It does not have to be uh, something that, that, that you think is attainable. If you have great faith, then you're in a position to where you don't believe anything is too good to happen to you. That's why I have, I have it written in, in several rooms in my house. I'm expecting great things today because that's where my faith is. That's what my faith is telling me to expect great things. If the things that I'm expecting don't happen, I'm waking up tomorrow and I'm looking at that same sign right there by my bedroom door. I'm expecting great things today. Why? Because I understand the power of God and I'm going to get to the scripture. I understand the power of God. I understand, I understand the importance in be believing that God can do everything. I, I, the importance of believing that God uh, has the power to do everything except fulfill. And so that is why it's important. Uh, that I believe that God can do anything because when you believe God can do anything that that means anything can happen in your favor 
And so that's where we put our trust. We trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding. And so there's nothing wrong with the naming and claiming, but be ready for the process. Um, when you're naming and claiming something, there, there are things that you're going to have to stop doing. There's things that you're going to have to, let's go back to the car. You naming and, and claiming a car uh, that may be outside of your budget, and that's fine. That's fine. But be willing to make the necessary changes that God will lead you to make in order to obtain it. Be, be, be ready to have the patience that it's going to take. Because understand, naming it and claiming it doesn't mean you're going to wake up in the, in, in the morning and do it. There's still principles of, of, of the word of God that you are going to have to follow in order for it to happen. Because, you know, God, bless, God even though you named it and claimed it, God still bless us out of our obedience. Back to Abraham. Abraham was obedient. Um, God said that he was going to be the father of many nations. He said that seed would be blessed through him. In Genesis chapter number 12, God made the covenant with Abraham through all of these things. But Abraham still had to do something. Abraham still had to leave his family. He still had to be obedient to God and go to a place that God was going to show him. Abraham still uh, had to do things. You know, faith without work is dead. Abraham still had to do things. So even though you you if you believe in naming it and claiming it and there's nothing wrong with that. You also need to to claim the process that you will have to go through. Are you ready to make the necessary cuts? Are you ready to make the necessary adjustments to to claim what it is you're naming? And so I want to I want to go to the word of God because I think uh, I, I've heard several times, several times, several times, uh, you know, other saints telling other saints, you know, you better call those things that be not as though they were. And, you know, like I said, I'm not knocking anybody for what they do, but I, I just want to put what I feel is a, a better understanding of the scripture. It said, as it is written, and it's talking about back in Genesis chapter 17, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. This is what God said to Abraham. I understand this is not what Abraham said to God. This is what God said to Abraham. Why did I say that? I say that because it was not Abraham calling those things that be not as though they were. It was God calling those things that be not as though they were. And this is what he says. I made thee a father of many nations before him who he believed. And then there's a comma and it says even God who, uh, you know, another comma, even God who quickeneth the dead. It wasn't Abraham that quickeneth the dead. It was God that quickened the dead. It was God who, who, who raised his son Jesus from the tomb, who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as if though they were. It was God who saw the world that was void and dark. It was God who said, let there be light. It was God that said, let us make man out of our own image. It was God who spoke those things that were not as if though they were. God is the only one. I've been saying this for weeks. God is the only one with the power to create. God is the only one with the power who can speak something into existence. Our role in all of this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Our role in this is not to do the speaking, but our role is to believe in the God that does the speaking. Amen. And so that's the point that I wanted to 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 really stress and and and, and get across on today. Um, don't 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 get wrapped up in the wrong role of, of this whole faith thing. Amen. Uh, it's good to believe. Don't get me wrong. It's like I said, if you're a name it and claim it type, when you name it, there's a space between naming and claiming. Sometimes there's a, a, a uh, area of processing. There's an area of work to be done in between the naming and claiming. So I guess I could say it like this, naming and claiming it doesn't go like this. Naming and claiming may be, you know, a space of, of time um, in between your naming and claiming. So do you have the patience? Are you willing to be obedient to God through the process? Are you willing to accept the process? And so this doesn't make it easier, 
but to me it puts it more in perspective um, things are easier to grasp when you think about it uh, uh, perhaps a different way and so instead of naming it and claiming it and expecting it to go exactly in that order you know maybe you know let's let's read the bible and let's grasp the concepts of god's word you can name it and claim it but in between that space make sure that you're believing and trusting god make sure um, you're living the principles of god's word make sure you're being obedient to god and make sure that you understand that it's it's not under your power to call things that be not as though they were but it's your power to believe in the god who can call those things that be not as though they were Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's devotion. I pray, Lord God, that this word will make sense to your people. Heavenly Father, I pray that this 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 devotional word will help people as it has helped me on today, Lord God. And Heavenly Father, bless us to, to keep our faith intact, Lord God. Bless us to continue to believing in you, even in the in the roughest times, in the hardest of times, in the times that we don't understand in the times of confusion there may be confusion but but let it not be a faith wavering uh, situation lord god help us keep our faith intact lord god and we continue to look to you the god who 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 gives life to the dead and call those things that be not as if though they were in jesus name amen I pray that you would have a wonderfully blessed day today. This is going to be the best Monday of your life. I'm believing and I'm praying God's blessings over you. And this is just the beginning of another wonderful week. Peace and blessings to you. God's will will see you on tomorrow.